Do you support um, what we do? Do you think the, the Prime Minister is right to offer this not really extra money, <laughs> but extra support? And do we support our farmers enough in this country? Well, I think the first one, as you say, it's not new money, therefore it's hard to get too excited about it. But one thing that is clear, that whether we're talking about farming or various other industries, part of the reason there is this over-reliance on cheap imported labour is because of the fact that there hasn't been that level of investment into new yeah. technology. Because there was no need to, because you could have cheap imported labour. Exactly, and this is one of the big problems, is that when you have this kind of steady flow of labour supply, which is incredibly cheap, which is doing jobs that um, Brits don't want to do, then there's no incentive to try and work out, you know, in this day and age, do we really need someone to be picking those vegetables if a machine can do it just as effectively? all these sorts of things. So on that sense, it's welcome. It, as ever with Rishi Sunak, though, you suddenly find out that it's not nearly as yep. um, exciting as it was presented to be, and it wasn't that exciting to begin with. But <laughs> on the other question of the on farms Gosh. in general, I think with, <laughs> with all of these farmers' revolts that we're seeing across Europe, I think we're being reminded just how important this sector is. Because us yep. in London, it's very easy to forget how crucial having a secure, well-functioning agricultural sector is, how much can go wrong when you let that slip. And also that you need to be on the right side of these people because whilst in previous times where things were a little bit more stable, you might have thought it doesn't matter so much, you oh, get your food from everywhere. we could import from Spain or Chile or, yeah. It's not always as straightforward as that. Yeah, exactly. Has, can't, there's can't one thing the last few years has taught us is how the interconnected world is great when it works, mm -hmm. but Absolutely. when it doesn't, then there are really serious problems. Exactly, and all these farmers know this new slogan, no farmers, no food. Uh, you know, and I saw a... Uh, a farmer being interviewed on TV the other day, pointing, you know, with a, with a slogan saying, you know, uh, food doesn't grow on shelves. You know, it actually has to come from somewhere. And that is the thing. We kind of forgotten that. I mean, I think we all remember, um, you know, when uh, uh, the, you know, the TV chef, you know, Jamie went off and did his, you know, his school dinners um, uh, uh, series all those years ago and was showing kids, you know, what's this? They didn't know what a potato was. They didn't, mm -hmm. they didn't know that, you know, chips came from potatoes, which came from the ground and... You know, and, and we have lost touch with that. And, and we do that out of peril because being... Well, we, we, God, we talk on this show an awful lot about being self-sufficient in fuel, don't we? Mm -hmm. But being self-sufficient in food is also crucial. It doesn't mean we only eat food from Britain, but if we don't sustain that, then we are going to be in a lot of trouble. Well, the Prime Minister at the conference is saying today, we're told they will tell farmers that the government will be by their side unveiling this spending pot worth half a billion pounds in the form of agricultural grants. Um, you know, using automation and the like. He'll tell the audience of farmers at the NFU that he understands how important they are. He will not take food security for granted. But the reality is the government does take it for granted, as do the supermarkets. And there's lots of talk about putting in new laws to protect farmers in terms of how they are. And they are being exploited mm -hmm. by supermarkets. We've seen again and again, you know, dairy farmers, they're not paid. The cost of keeping the cows alive and milking them is not covered by the price that they are being paid by supermarkets for their milk. Uh, and, you know, whether, whether it's poultry, whether it's uh, pigs, whether it's lambs, whatever. And again, Jeremy Clarkson's The Farm exposes. You look at the actual money in, cost, cost of, and the work involved, and they're not, you know, they get, farmers are going under a rate mm -hmm. of knots. And, um, and this is because we demand cheaper and cheaper food. And even though it's gone up in recent years by, you know, whopping 25, 30%, the, 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 and, the, and the supermarkets don't make a huge profit. They're not making mm -hmm. silly profits. It's not, but they, they do loss leaders on a lot of these products. And they, they basically make the farmers pay the bill for it instead of them taking the cost, you know, taking the hit and then making the profit elsewhere. Do we need as consumers to accept that if we don't want cheap foreign workers who we then subsidise with our tax benefits, mm -hmm. you know, tax credits and the like, um, and for farmers to not go out of business, that actually we need to pay more for our milk for our bread, for our berries, for our, our tomatoes or whatever. Well, it's hard to make the case for kind of more expensive food prices at a time well, except, like No, this. except food, even now <laughs> after inflation, food now is far, far cheaper than oh, it was 10 years oh, ago, 20 years ago, 30 years but ago. But that, you know, that is obviously going to be, by and large, seen as a good thing. I think there's also the case, this isn't just a kind of static picture, because as, as we were talking about some of the investments that can be made, all of those kinds of efficiencies which could come if yeah. there is actually that level of capital investment could unlock cheaper food prices, but also making sure that the farmers have a fair deal. What is clear is that, as you've suggested, the farmer's side of the equation has been askew, to put it lightly, for yeah. a very long time, and that needs to be addressed. Big because... supermarkets, small farms, mm -hmm. they just don't have the power to negotiate. Absolutely, and that's something that needs to be redressed. Even in the kind of, you know, in the, in the long term, of course, you want to see something that works for everyone, the consumer, the retailers yeah. and the farmers. But at the moment, it's clearly skewed away from the farmer's interest and that yeah, needs to be addressed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, do, do get in touch. I do want to hear from you. Give us a call 0344 499 1000, text on 8722 or get in touch on X at Talk TV. Are we giving enough support to our farmers? Do you support what Rishi Snack is announcing today?